Hello ChemCom. Today we're going to continue on and learn two more gas laws and talk about the relationship between temperature and pressure. Let's get started. This next law shows how temperature and pressure are related. As temperature increases, this is going to cause molecules to move faster, collide into the side of a container, and build pressure within a container. This is why in chemistry lab we don't heat enclosed containers. You can see that like volume and temperature, this is a direct relationship. So P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2. Remember, temperature is involved, so you must convert everything into Kelvin if you're given a temperature. This says a gas has a pressure of 0.37 atmospheres, so that's a pressure, and it's at 50 degrees Celsius. But we cannot use Celsius, so we're going to take that 50 degrees Celsius and we're going to add 273, which will get us to 323 Kelvin, and that will be our T1. What is the temperature at standard pressure? If you recall, standard pressure is one atmosphere, so P2 in this case would be one atm. So now we got P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2, and we can start filling out our equation. 0.37 over 323 equals one over T2. I'm going to cross multiply my T2 to both sides so that this T2 drops out. That would give me 0.001146 times T2 equals 1. And then I'll divide both sides by my decimal here. And that'll give me what T2 is. T2 is 872 Kelvin. So as long as you can set up the equation correctly and do the appropriate algebra, these problems are pretty straightforward. The last one we're going to take a look at here is the combined gas law. This takes all three laws, Boyle's Charles and the pressure temperature law, and combines them all into one law. It shows the relationship between pressure, volume, and temperature all at the same time. So typically, I use this one right here, P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. Let's do an example. So we have a gas that's at a pressure of 12 atmospheres. So that would be P1 and a volume of 23 liters. So that's V1 and a temperature of 200 Kelvin. So that's T1. The way you're going to know this is a combined gas law is because you're going to immediately recognize that you have all three variables. Then we have our next pressure, which is P2. And we have another temperature, which is T2. So what we don't have is V2. So P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. So now we just need to start plugging in variables. 12 times 23 over 200 equals 14 times V2, which we don't know, over 300. I'm going to cross multiply this 300 first to the other side and calculate what I know. And that gives me 414 equals 14 V2 because these cancel out. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 14 and that'll give me V2 which is 29.6 and that would be liters. Once again, these gas law problems are about taking your time, setting up the problem correctly, and then doing the algebra correctly. Make sure to take your time with these and do the practice problems. Keep up the good work. We'll see you soon.